Hello everybody, I'm Sneaksy Gamer, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. Now, in the last episode, I attempted to fight the Fume Knight, and... <sighs> Turns out, he does get much more difficult. I looked up to see if he had any weaknesses, and apparently... No, he does not. The only thing he has is a high fire resistance, so can't be using fire against him. thing about him is, he has a second stage of the fight that I didn't see last night. Which is why he didn't seem all that bad. Apparently there's another stage to the fight, and it gets much worse. So I have a feeling I'm gonna be fighting this guy for a while. Hopefully not. Hopefully I can get lucky and take him out one of these times quickly, but I doubt it. So since he's got no weaknesses, I don't know that it would be worth it to buff a weapon to fight him. All I know is that I cannot be using the Smelter Sword because that will deal reduced damage because of his resistance to fire, so... Apparently the first stage of the fight isn't too difficult, but the second stage gets really bad. Which sounds like exactly what I need. So instead of putting that in there, I think I might... useful. This is all souls and stuff, so those won't be useful. But let me see where my dark defense is. Because apparently he uses dark damage and fire damage in the second stage of the fight. That's not good. That is very low. Compared to my other defenses, that is extremely low.
maybe it will be okay, but I highly doubt it. Some people were actually suggesting that you go in there with no armor on because you can move a lot faster and you get more more invincibility frames while you're rolling and stuff, but I don't know that I would be able to pull that off. <laughs> He's immune to poison, I believe. He can't, or not immune to poison damage, but he can't be poisoned. So that wouldn't do me any good to use that stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing much that would be. Uh, that's not that bad. I lose a lot of physical defense, but it's lighter and it protects against the dark a lot more. I'm going to want this. Still not the best, but it's better than it was. How much dark does this shield block? Not much. the dark damage. This one would work better against the dark damage, actually. I do lose a chunk of physical damage protection, though. And I saw strategies that both said it's easier to bring these summons in, and ones that said it makes it more difficult to bring them in, so... It sounds like this is going to be quite a difficult fight. That's the attack that we want to keep him using, is that overhead one. The way to do that is by using items near him, supposedly. Because once, if he doesn't keep doing that, is when he'll go into the second stage of the fight if that thing doesn't, if that sword doesn't stay lit up like it was.
Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this on this attempt. Looks like he went into the second stage of the fight. This is where things get way worse. There is actually a strategy that you can, if you equip a certain a certain helmet you can as soon as you walk in he will go straight into that stage so you don't have to memorize the two move sets but that stage is extremely difficult and there is a way to keep him from reaching that stage so I think I'd rather try to keep him from doing that than force him into just that if possible but uh, I think this will probably be a boss that I will need to that I will need to bring in another player on. to run for the fog gate because I want to get my souls and leave so I can um, repair my rings maybe and maybe buy some other items to use I'm just gonna go for it oh crap I've got the phantom with me I can't do that Good thing I didn't wait until I went in there to look at that. I completely spaced the fact that having a phantom with I wouldn't be able to return to the bonfire. So I'm going to come in here, hopefully grab my souls and get out before he gets to attack me. Yep, there we go. So, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for this fight, because from the looks of it, it's going to be quite difficult.
and that was one of the many or one of the most common things I saw about this is that it's very difficult <laughs> people were pretty insistent that it is a very difficult fight so the damage I take, but a lot of the suggestions were saying to not take, not block damage, but avoid it. But I am nowhere near good enough at timing my rolls to do that, so I'm basically stuck just taking the damage. You know what, I'm gonna come in here and talk to Kale and see if now that I've gotten the bonfires all lit, I think that, I think I got all of them lit now, I'm gonna see if that's all I had to do to get his helmet from him. Did you see the flame on the... It wasn't there when I came here. I don't know what... But there is... It's something... No. Nope. You must be having to defeat the bosses or something then. I can't remember what you have to do there. But I don't have the souls that I need for... Going any farther here. Apparently you can get that blue smelter demon's sword, which could be useful in some s places, but... You need armor. Do you have anything useful? Yeah, Velstat's helmet, if you wear that, it will send that guy into the second stage of the fight right away. So apparently, Are you sure? apparently he does not like Veldstadt, so <laughs> I don't know what the lore behind it all is, but there's something there that he doesn't like Veldstadt, so... This is a good idea, but I think I'm going to Or 
that's the wrong shield. I think I'm going to use a bonfire thing here and fight the other smelter demon again because I should get a good amount of souls from doing that. Hopefully it's something that I shouldn't have too much difficulty with. Oh yeah, I gotta burn the item there. That's right, that's how I do it. This weapon will probably be more effective in here than the smelter sword. And I'm hoping that this smelter demon doesn't turn out too powerful now. You know, I like my smelter sword more, I'm gonna use that. At least until I get to the fight, then I can switch to something else. And this should mean that the fan that the invaders will be back, I think. Yep. This was a bad idea. She damaged me enough to get ready to cut through what I was healing. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I would have to fight this thing again until after I did it. fight these phantom, these invaders again. Got you. Now there's that other one, Armor or Dennis, which was a pain in the ass before, so it's probably going to be even worse now. doesn't appear. 
appear to be coming out, so oh crap. I didn't think that there I didn't think of the fact that there would be some of them here too. And some of the black phantom enemies. Oh, you're a captain, are you? Okay. Okay, forgot there would be those things here too now. I may have made a terrible error here. I may have made a very terrible error here. Stand there and shoot me, are you? Oh, this is bad. Because I'm hitting a point where I can't continue unless I get more souls. And I can't get more souls unless I start doing stuff like this. are going to be around, though. dodged a backstab. Most of the enemies don't do that. See, I'm certain that their arrows curve sometimes. And that's not cool. I 
that's gotta be hitting him. You're kidding me. Hmm. Okay, this fight, I don't know, I might do it on my own time because I'm getting close to the end of the episode. I mean, I suppose I could go over there and give it one try. I'm not sure how many souls I'll get from it, but I should get quite a few. Because being on New Game Plus, I'll get more souls than... Or, because I used the bonfire thing, it's the same as New Game Plus. So I will get more souls than I did the first time I fought it. And I think the first time I fought it, it gave me quite a few, so... doesn't come over here, he can stay alive. But I have a feeling he's gonna come over here and attack me. Yeah, see, they're, they take way more damage when they're in the middle of an attack, but it's a lot more dangerous to attack them while they're in it. While they're attacking, because I'm pretty sure you probably take more damage while you're in the middle of an attack as well. I have a feeling this was a big mistake. Seems like it's probably a big mistake. Estus flasks isn't enough to go in to fight this thing. behind it is still accessible from the other part.
guess I could find out. Because then I can just kill all the ones out here rather than have to go through those other ones too. this I would hope yep I can't go that way to get in there at all now you should be a normal one I think This one probably is New Game Plus level as well, so... Going to proceed with caution. Because that red phantom... Or they're called black phantoms, I guess, but... down there at the bottom. And I don't know what it would take to draw it up here. <laughs> okay then. That works. Exactly proud of killing them by knocking them into the lava, but it, if it works, it works. <laughs> are going to be able to come running at me too. something else just run off the side and die because I just got more souls <laughs> but yeah I do want to at least give the fight one shot in this video so this might be a long video right now I could go and use those. We 
because if I fail the fight, I'm gonna lose them in there. Again, don't really like knocking them down there to kill them, but if it works, it works. I think I will. I'll go back to Majula and use the souls before I try to fight this thing. Oh, you landed on the stairs. You're still alive down there. I don't think you can get to me, though. I tried to get a backstab there, but it didn't seem to work. And then, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Majula and use the souls. I apologize, this series is going longer than I thought it would. I didn't realize I was going to have this much trouble in these these DLC areas. <sighs> Although I did make these videos shorter than I did in the first one, so... That's part of it, too, I why there's so many. Dragon Tooth, but no, I need more Twinkling Tight Knight for that. I'll be around if you make it back. On you. Just barely. Okay. 
Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.